everyone, it's Elaine, and welcome back to my channel. If you remember in some of the past videos, I've had, well, more than this, black paint all over my fingers. Well, this is the reason why. This is what I had been working on. And I'm going to tell you, I've always promised the good, the bad, and the ugly. And these were a little bit of a cluster. And, um... I don't know it just was different to me than it's ever been before um, I started these trays a long time ago and I did matte black on them so it was kind of that chalky kind of paint and I wasn't happy with them they just didn't have a punch but what I do in the bottom of them all is that I just sew them and the gesso I use is um, the Crafters Workshop, and I use a gold gesso. And yet, it has a little bit of shimmer to it. Um, I don't know. I like it for these anyway. And one reason why I like it, and I'm not so sure you're going to be able to see it in any of these trays, but the gold is on the bottom. So if I should have some kind of gap between my tiles then it's okay it, it shines through it's not this harsh black shining through and i like that um, so every one of these tiles i have made these actually are tiles for the most part that i did years and years ago and i've just thought of something i usually don't like to do this hold on I forgot one very important element to this um, and I want to have it ready so I can show you but these again like I said are just tiles that I did a while back and I didn't always have the same depth if that makes sense to you sometimes the tiles were thicker sometimes they were thinner and when I'd go to stamp on them um, you know that would change the height of them I, I learned a lot but I had these tiles and I wanted to use them. The other thing that I used to do is I used to use resin. I would go through and do the two part resin and resin can be expensive. So if I mixed up too much, I kind of always had to have something else ready to go that I could use the resin on. I, I try not to be wasteful. And so I don't know, I I've created some magnets and stuff like that where I've used leftover resin. But now I have discovered a product and it comes two different ways. It comes in a jar and I keep it upside down and it comes in a bottle and it's called triple thick and it's by deco art Americana. And this is the results of it. As you can see, um, I was thinking that when I've used it in the past, it hasn't quite been this glossy, but I don't mind the gloss. And all I'm really trying to do is get it so that the tray because of the depths of the tile that the tray bottom is pretty much the same depth so you don't feel a whole lot of bumps and and everything and there is a little bit of texture in here um, this one I can see this tile right here it definitely you can kind of see with the shine that this one has a little bit more texture but overall you can't get in between the tiles. There's no gaps or anything. So I'm even fine with this. And I got this tray set a long time ago. I got multiple of them. And when I tell you, I got them at AC Moore. <laughs> so AC Moore, we know, has been closed for a little while. Um, but that's where I got them. And then what I did this time is, okay, so the bottom is gold gesso. And you can see a little bit of the gold gesso coming right through there. Okay, um, so I did gold gesso, then I, I had done black flat, like I said, and I didn't like it. So I did the tiles, I did the triple thick, and then I went back over with a glossy black paint. And, and, and what I do is I do the inside and, and this top piece, and then after that dries, I flip it over and do the sides and the bottom. Now these are not quite finished because I still, well that one's not. I usually put some kind of foot on them, something, um, and I'll show you one that I did something different. But um, this is them, 
So I try not to stack them up without a little spacer, but let me show you the other ones. Hold on, let me get those behind me. So here we go, this is another set that I did. Again, one good thing about them is, is that no two trays will be the same. And I see right there, I got a little black paint I got to wash off. But this is one where, look at the feet. Do you know what that is? <laughs> It's yoga mat. Remember, I get all kinds of samples from where I used to work, and one of them were pieces of yoga mat. So I cut them up into little pieces, and I, I that's what I used as the feet on the bottom. And they're great. They're great. So that is the next set. And you know what? This is some stuff that, I don't know, came in a box as a cushion for something. Keep that stuff. This way, my trays do not touch each other, and I can wrap them up, and they're not going to be bumping into each other and scraping paint off. So here's another little one. And one thing, too, I'll have to say about the tile trays that I've done. Nope, mine are not as beautiful as some of the professionals out there, but they're mine. That's the way I have done it. And, um, you know, it is what it is. This tray is going to need probably another layer on it, and uh, I'll, I can take care of that. So, anyway, with that being said, there's these. <clears throat> and I got one more to show you. But what I was going to tell you, too, is everything that I've ever done in with my clay tiles, I have sold them. I have done crosses, I have done boxes where the top of it is tile, I have done like pencil cases that I've turned into glass holders, you know, for eyeglasses, um, and I have sold everything. So this one is a pretty hefty one, pretty big, and um, you know, like I said, some of my tiles sometimes are a little wonky, but it's the mosaic of it all, and it feels great, and it is durable, um, I just, I just really, really like it. So that is that, and like I said, that's what I've been working on, and the reason why my hands have been black with black paint on them, <laughs> the story of my life, huh? Um, but anyhow, that's it. So if you would, remember to join me on Tuesday evenings at 6 p.m. Um, I put up just one video a week. I also have a Facebook group and a Facebook page. I'm on Instagram and Twitter, and of course my own personal account on Facebook. Come and see what I'm up to. I also am on Pinterest and I have a small shop on Etsy. So please give me a shout out. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do tell your friends and give me that thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And please behave and stay safe out there and I will catch you in the next video. See you down the road. Bye.